welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. Um, unfortunately, I am filming this today, Sunday, the February 4th, um, and it is a gloomy day. So we are back with like shadows and uh, awful lighting. I hope you guys don't mind too much. It's not my favorite type of quality video to get out, but I didn't film yesterday. Um, for reasons that I guess I will explain to you guys because you guys are my friends and my struggles I don't mind sharing with you guys because you're my friends <laughs> hopefully um, so we will go ahead and get in and see how this week has gone it was going really really well um, I've actually been decent at working out but I have not been following my workout program so <laughs> Because I was working out one day and like I was running on the treadmill and I got off of the treadmill and my my watch notified me and it was like, you have a low cardio fitness level. By the way, my son is awake right now. Um, it was like, you have a low cardio fitness level. And I was like, what the heck does that even mean? And recently, I, I've been telling you guys I've been struggling with um, high cholesterol and I'm supposed to be on medicine, but I don't, I'm, <laughs> I haven't gone back to the doctor to get a refill of it. So that's on me. But, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm struggling with that. And so my, my watch always notifies me lately. It used to never notify me, but just recently in this past year, it started notifying me that I'm having like, your heart rate is really, really high right now and you're not doing anything. And I'm like, I know that I'm probably freaking out in my head right now. Okay. So I've been having problems with that. Um, but yeah, it said I had a low cardio fitness rate and I was like, what the heck is that? And I looked it up and it said that like, apparently I wasn't getting like enough oxygen for the cardio that I was doing because I was running on the treadmill and um, it said it could be um, it could mean you're at risk of a heart attack and I'm like bro I am 27 years old like freshly 27 as of January 4th I'm not about to have a heart attack like come on now like I'm stressed and I'm losing my mind and I'm overwhelmed and I'm overstimulated and I'm freaking depressed and I have freaking anxiety okay but I cannot deal with a freaking heart attack right now, okay? So I'm not going to cry. I'm about to cry, but I'm not going to cry. And so I'm like, don't give me another freaking thing to worry about, please. Okay, granted, it's just an Apple Watch, so it might be stupid, but it, it can't be that stupid because it's right. It's been spot on. My cholesterol has been high. Um, so I'm just hoping that it's not right about that. So yeah, I've given up on my weight training workout plan and I have just been running on the treadmill every single day because I'm like, okay, maybe if I run on the treadmill and I strengthen my heart, I will be okay. And I'm not going to freaking have anything crazy serious happen to me. So I'm praying. <laughs> um, the washi that I have been using this week for my dailies, which I'm doing my deployed devotional. My son is trying to trim my dog's nails. He's only one year old, but one years old, but he sees me do it. So he knows what the little machine thing is. So he's like running around with it and provoking my dogs, <laughs> but they're used to his annoyance. Anyways, the washi I have been using this week is like a coffee cafe corgi theme. It is so stinking cute. I forget what the Etsy shop was called. I think it was like three corgi studio or something like that. So cute. Um, I, I got a few washies from her and then I started my February page here, so I use the TCMC February washi, which I need to show you guys how this monthly turned out. I kind of just like threw up all the stickers on this monthly, not gonna lie, but purple's my favorite color, so I wanted to use like everything, even if it was like stuff that like had no reason to be put on, like day off, like I don't even have a job, but I used the sticker anyways. <laughs> so yeah, I did that, and then there we go. Uh, this was yesterday and I was supposed to list out my worries and literally all of my worries essentially boil down to two things worrying about my son and failing him and not doing and being enough in myself so yeah so <laughs> yesterday I was supposed to film and I didn't because I just lost my marbles so I'm going to go ahead and show you the kit that I'm going to be using and then I guess I'll talk about my problems with you guys because I have no one else to talk about my problems with because I quit therapy because I thought I was doing better but turns out I'm doing way freaking worse <laughs> newsflash but anyways I'm gonna use a sticker kit from Sweet Bean Plans I absolutely love her um, and it's like a declutter cleaning one because I've had it in my mind that I need to like go through and declutter my clothes because like 
in the middle of a mental breakdown, what should you do? Uh, get rid of clothes. That'll make it better, right? So <laughs> that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, I went ahead and filled in my habit trackers, trackers, which will be stretching and cardio because like I said, I gave up my workout plan right now because I'm trying to get my heart in a healthy place, I guess. And then the book I will be reading is Memory Lane. Um, I went ahead and put these stickers on over here. And um, what I'm going to be tracking is how long I run each day and how many calories I burned during that run. And then the washi, if my son will shh, I know it's a big bright light, isn't it? Uh, I'll try to give you some ASMR for your ear holes, but you might just be listening to my son say whoa because he sees my, my light right here. But let's give it a go. <laughs> What? I tried. I'm not an ASMR queen. You guys know that. But this is also Sweet Bean Plans, and it's like the same aesthetic. It's like a cleaning washi. So that's what we're going to be using. I guess I will get started with putting the little date covers. And I will tell you guys about my freaking breakdown yesterday. Um, I do want to say if you guys um, are struggling with your mental health, um, um, and like severe depression and anxiety and you struggle with why you're on the earth, maybe don't watch this right now. I'll put a timestamp of when I'm done telling <laughs> my drama of yesterday. Uh, I'll, I'll leave a timestamp for you guys to come back um, because I don't want to cause any extra stress or, you know, emotions on you guys. So click out now or like just go to the timestamp I'm going to put right here and we will see you on the other end. Okay, so if you are still here, get ready for some drama, and I don't want you guys to like feel bad for me or feel sorry for me or anything. I am totally fine. I'm still here. I'm trucking through, but um, if you guys have been with me for a while now, especially through the month of January, I have been saying that it was like the worst month of my life for like my mental health, and Boy, was I wrong, because yesterday, February 2nd, or was it uh, yesterday, February 3rd, I I guess it's just all been building up. It's been building up and building up and building up, I guess, and I couldn't find my freaking hairbrush for me to go get in the shower. A freaking hairbrush, guys. Keep that in mind. It was a freaking hairbrush. I could not find the, the brush, and I went all through the house looking for it, and I was getting even, I was getting madder and madder as I was going. You guys, I've told you before, I struggle with my anger. I was getting even more, like, I kept getting, like, it was just building up. And I went back in my room, and, like, I screamed, like, I was like, yeah, like, so mad. And then I fell on my freaking knees. I have never fallen on my knees before, okay? Like, I have been so suicidal whenever I was in the military, so freaking depressed, like, just so over crap, okay? And, but I've never fallen to my knees before. And maybe that's what I, that's what needed to happen for hopefully my come up. <laughs> Please, Jesus. Um, so I fell to my knees and I was like, Lord, like, why are you keeping me alive? Why do you not just take my life? Because I am so miserable. I don't remember a time in my life when I've been happy. And nothing is going right. Like, I, I can't find my freaking hairbrush and I'd rather be dead. <laughs> And I know that seems really stupid, but it wasn't the hairbrush. And I'm sure a lot of you guys that like <laughs> struggle with depression and anxiety, you know that it wasn't, I'm crying right now, but like, it's not, it's like crying because I'm talking to somebody about it, I guess. Like I'm not mad right now, but like you guys know that it wasn't about the hairbrush. It was just everything <laughs> leading up to that dang point of me not being able to find a stupid hairbrush to brush my hair. <laughs> And I've never, I have never, like, asked the Lord to kill me, okay? And I just, I just, I did. I asked him why I was here. Because I find it really hard to accept the fact that I was put on this earth to be miserable and depressed and hate myself every day of my life. And so I'm just like, take everything lord please like help me teach me give me a word tell me what i need to do like i am yours i will do what you need me to do and i've already read the book of job this this um year in my bible i i read it in january and he went through so much granted i have not gone through anything like to his extreme you know like losing my family and stuff like that i haven't but 
I, I've gone through other stuff, I guess. I don't know, like, how to, like, explain, like, without making this even more depressing and telling you what has happened to me in my life. Um, but it's just, like, I just feel like I'm always struggling. Like, I feel like I'm not getting the chance to catch my breath, and I need to catch my breath. My friggin' Apple Watch is telling me that I might have a heart attack. I need to catch my friggin' breath. Please. Give me a break. Please. And I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't know what I need to change. Like, I just... I'm a mess. I'm a freaking mess. And I don't know... <laughs> I don't know how many times I can say I don't know. But I don't know how to fix it. I don't know how to change and turn my life around. But I'm going to stop talking about my sob story now because I don't want anybody that is waiting for me to come back into the video. I don't want them to be like, what the heck? She forgot about us. She's just talking about her problems the whole video. So we're going to stop talking about that. And we're going to try and get in a good mood, okay? Wipe your tears, Destiny. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> okay, so if you were returning to the video, if you clicked out while I told my sob story, welcome back. We didn't really do much. We were just putting a lot of cleaning stickers down from Sweet Bean Plans. Um because I feel like I need to get rid of a lot of my clothes. <laughs> um, mainly like clothes that I wore while I was in the military and I was like going to the clubs all the time. And I hate clubbing. I hate drinking. My son has a t-shirt over his head so he can't see. What are you doing, bug? Whoa. Um, so I, I don't like drinking to get drunk because the one time I did that severely, severely back back, back, backfired on me, led me to some traumatic experiences. So I don't like drinking. I never really liked clubbing because I don't dance. Um, I, like I don't dance. I don't like dancing. Like, I, I don't know. I just don't like people looking at me. So why would I dance? Because people are going to look at you if you're dancing. So I don't do that stuff. But um, being in the military, I had a lot of friends and most of them didn't have cars and I did. So I would be the driver, and so I would go to these clubs, and I'm like, you know, okay, I'm gonna dress, like I'll dress up, cute and stuff, whatever. But I'm not, I'm not like partaking in any of this. You know what I mean? So we would do that. I guess I'm just gonna cover this because, oh, biscuit. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was like, okay, I guess I'll like dress up. You know, I can dress cute and whatever, but I'm not gonna be drinking to get drunk or anything. But whatever. You know what? Whatever, sticker kit. Come at me, bro. I don't think these are removable. Oh, they are. Oh, they are very easily to remove. Okay, cool. Um, but so yeah, so I have a lot of like clubbing outfits, I guess you could say. And I don't do that anymore. One, I'm a mom. And two, it's never really been my scene. I was just there for my friends. So... I am going to be decluttering, hopefully, my closet this week, <laughs> if I can find the energy and the strength to do it, because I I do be lazy. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not sure why this is, I'm struggling so hard with this sticker. I'm really shaky. <laughs> I'm always shaky. Ah! Um, so yeah, I wanted to use this kit because I thought it was cute. I love Sweet Bean Plans. She's literally one of my favorite, and so she has a sticker kit for freaking decluttering your laundry and whatever you're decluttering, so I'm going to use it, because I love a themed sticker kit, <laughs> even though literally last time I was like, I really don't care about sticker uh, themed sticker kits. It depends. Like, stuff like this I find really cute, like, Xander, leave Diesel alone. Um, stuff, stuff like this, like for me cleaning, like it's going to motivate me. So yes, I'll use it. That's fine. <laughs> no, you leave diesel. <sighs> my son is instigating my 14 year old pit bull and he is not in the mood. Give me one second. None of these stickers are laying down straight. You're breaking my heart. Please just... Lay down straight for me, please. I keep saying I don't care if the sticker is crooked, and then here I am. I'm caring, okay? <laughs> I care if it's good. I care if it's crooked, okay? I want it to be straight. I'm trying to, trying to make it pretty and aesthetic. I'm not sure what mood I'm in today. Also, guys, by the way, 
Um, so we have that to look forward to. Um, this whole sidebar, I guess, is just going to be filled with stickers because I have a lot of stuff I'm trying to track. <laughs> so I might have to cover up this bean. Maybe I'll just move this. Let me see. Is it called? Yeah, sweet bean plans. I think she calls these beans. This is called the little bean character or something like that. <laughs> I'm not sure, but it's cute. We love it. So I'm going to move that down so I can fill up this entire sidebar with the stuff I'm trying to track. Um, and hopefully I won't have a heart attack. Um, anytime soon, anytime soon, no time in the near future. I want to have a heart attack. Please, Lord, keep me safe. Protect me. Protect me. Okay. I'm going to put these little to-do thingies down here, even though last week I haven't really been, I think I've used them a few days and then like most of the week I didn't even use them, but I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to put the stickers down just in case, just in case I do got a to-do that day. And today, like it is Sunday that I'm filming this. I was supposed to, oh, biscuit. I was supposed to go to church, um, but my son sweet little precious little booger monster that he is <laughs> decided to wake up at 4 a.m um and he pee peed in his diaper and I guess like that was the like he had already peed so much in his diaper that night because I change him before we go to bed every single night um but I, he like was tossing and turning all night and I guess he just was peeing like every time he tossed and turned <laughs> So he peed through his diaper at 4 a.m. And so I had to change his diaper. And then, so I changed his diaper and then he freaking wouldn't go back to sleep until 6 a.m. So from four to six, we're just like up in the bed. I'm getting frustrated because I just had the worst day ever yesterday. And he's just like doing his thing, you know, being the, being the little boy that he is, okay? And so I was like, okay, I, I'm not the type of person to set an alarm because I always wake up. I generally always wake up for things naturally. So I was like, I don't need to set an alarm. I'm going to wake up for church. And I didn't. I didn't wake up. Uh, we didn't wake up until nine o'clock. Church starts at 930. So we woke up at nine. So we didn't have, we weren't dressed. We hadn't had breakfast. We hadn't done anything to get ready for church. And I was just like, ah, oh, like, so now like we miss church, but it's okay. I watched my home, my home church from Texas. I watched their live stream on YouTube. So I, I still had a church service. I think I'm in a color block. I've never done that before, but let's see if I hate it or if I love it. Um, so at least like I didn't miss church today, but being at church is so different. Oh, I say I'm in a color block, but these aren't color blocks. Oh, well, it's fine. Um, but yeah, like being physically in church, like with other, like having community, like being with other individuals and talking and worshiping, like around other people, it's such a different experience than when you're watching a live stream. And those of you that go to, ch go to church, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, it's just, it's totally, it's, it's a different feel. So I was sitting there running on the treadmill this morning, watching church, which, Hey, like, I don't think it matters how you watch church. You know what I mean? I still watched it and I, I enjoyed it. I love pastor Bart, um, but I don't know. It just wasn't the same. Like I'm sitting there running on like speed 4.8, trying to sing, sing the worship songs and like my freaking like out of shape, butt. I'm like, <laughs> You know, like, whoa, I could not like, whoa, I hope you enjoy my praises, Lord, because I was out of breath, okay? I was having a hard time breathing while I was singing my praise to him, but I don't think he minds, <laughs> even though I have the voice of, like, awful. I have an awful singing voice, but I don't think he minds. He loves me. <laughs> I tried, but yeah, Um. so... Yeah, uh, today has been significantly better. It's been a significantly better day, if you guys cannot tell. I'm sounding a little bit more upbeat, hopefully. My son wants you guys to know that we have cats. Yeah, baby, we have three. Yeah, they're over there. I know. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm starting to... You know what it is? I think it's now that I told you guys what I'm struggling with, I'm feeling better. 
And maybe that's why they say therapy is so important because it really does feel better. Once you tell people your problems, you're like, oh, wow, yeah, I feel great. Because I do. And also, I ran on the treadmill this morning. So, like, I've already exercised, baby. If you haven't exercised, go exercise. You're going to feel so much better. Like, I feel better. I feel good right now. <laughs> the endorphins are endorphinin. Um, my son thinks that it's time to eat, even though he already ate lunch. My son is an awful eater. I know I'm really scatterbrained right now. It's hard for me to keep a train of thought. Like, one, because I was just crying my face off. And two, because my son is awake. <laughs> He's like, ah, ah, ah. no, sir. <laughs> You're smushing your own finger, baby. Open the door. Oh, my goodness. Son. My son sat there and just shut the cabinet on his finger and starts crying, but he continued to push the dang cabinet closed on his finger. Uh, baby, like, baby, you're the one closing the dang cabinet on your finger. Open it. Don't lean more into it. Open it. <laughs> um, I forgot what I was saying before he... It's, it's really distracting when my son is awake. But also, I feel like I'm scatterbrained because the endorphins are endorphin in, and also, I just cried my face off to you guys. So, if you guys enjoy me in my raw form, <laughs> in my raw and fragile form, you know, maybe this is not this is why I don't have friends, because I'm really, I really do be a weirdo. I'm a weirdo. I feel so much better now that we talked about our, now that I told you guys my problems. I really feel so much better. I'm not even going to lie. I felt like, I just feel like a weight is lifted off my shoulder. And like, he's, my son has the dang dog nail clippers right now trying to clip my dang toenails. Like, baby, are you trying to tell me I have dog toes? Dang, you're offensive. Kids are so offensive. <laughs> um, what was I saying? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I just, I feel like once you talk about your problems, it really does have the ability to make you feel better. Even though you guys aren't talking back to me right now, I just feel better about the fact that I got this off my chest and I'm not holding it around because I don't have therapy anymore. So you guys are the only, like, you guys are my friends. You're the only ones that are going to hear about my problems now. Sorry to tell you, sorry that you're going to have to endure that, but I appreciate you all the same. Uh, ow, bug, that hurts. What the goodness gracious? It's a toenail clipper. You're trying to take my skin off. Why are you looking at me like that? Oh my gosh, that hurt. Um, so yeah, ow. Oh my goodness, my son's abusing me right now, man. <laughs> um, what was I saying? I don't even know. My son's distracting. Ow. No, oh, I can't laugh. See, this is the problem with kids. Like, they actually will be hurting you, and you can't help but laugh because it's kind of amusing. But, like, and then they're, like, they think that you're playing when you say it hurts, but, like, it really freaking hurts. Um, so, <laughs> I'm trying to work on not laughing. Ow! See, you hear him? He thinks it's, he thinks it's hilarious to hurt mom. Oh, my gosh. Um, so... Yeah, I'm not going to put too many more stickers down. I don't like using these full stickers because I just don't think they're that cute. I might use these to, like, break up some of the space. Xander, stop. No, it's not funny. Okay. Now I hurt his feelings. I'm sorry. Um, so I'm going to use these little glitter headers. Yeah, Mommy's sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I'm gonna use these glitter headers, oops, to block off, like take up a little bit of space. This is like a really open area, so I might try to put another box, but all I have is another big box, and I don't wanna use another big box. I'll fill it in with something else, it's fine. I'm not worried about it. Um, so, how, oh my goodness, guys, did I go in with my sob story and not even ask you guys how your day is? Oh, shame on me. I'm so sorry. Guys, how are you doing? How is your week? How is your year? I hope you guys are doing so well. I hope you guys are enjoying um, whatever life has in store for you right now, whatever season you're in in your life. I hope that you guys are having a good time. I really, really do. Let me know what the most exciting thing was that happened for you this week or what is the most exciting thing you're expecting this year let me know i would love to hear it um i hope that you guys are just doing so good i really really do i am doing good <laughs> despite what i just told you guys i just feel like i needed yesterday i feel like i needed to be brought down to my knees yesterday in order to be built back up i i, I just i feel like i needed to break down so far to where I was literally brought down 
to just be like, Lord, take it, take it, take everything, please. I cannot do this. I need you. You are the only one I need. You're you the only one that can help me. So I feel like now that I reached that point, hopefully um, I'm on the up and up um, to uh, happiness because I've never, <laughs> I don't remember a time in my life when I experienced prolonged happiness. And so I would love to experience it. I think that, you know, maybe I deserve it. I would like to, I would like to think so. So yeah, I hope you guys, um, I don't know. I hope you guys are doing well. <laughs> I hope you guys, I hope I was able to make you laugh even in the midst of me being all emotional and weird. I hope you guys still had a good time here. I am just about done right as my son gets really, really loud. Hey, baby, can we not bang on the desk? Mommy's almost done. Okay, so this is all the stickers I have left. I'm probably just going to stash it away for some other time to use it because I'm not really using my dailies again for anything other than my deployed devotional that I'm doing. So I will be using this washi to do that. So this is the setup. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm sorry I was so like emotional and you know, like a train wreck, but what's new? I feel like I normally am a train wreck. I'm sorry, I'm trying to show you guys like, <laughs> I'm trying to get this light in here, man, so you can see it. Um, but I feel like that's normal for me, you know, just to be a train wreck. So I hope you guys don't mind. Hopefully at this point, you think that we're friends too and you don't mind a um, sob and, sob and cry and rant every now and again. Um, but hopefully we'll be back to the regularly up and up program here soon. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so this is the setup. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, leave a comment down below. I would love to talk to you guys. I'd love to get to know you all. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a like, consider subscribing, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.